I think we might have bit off more than we could chew. So, uh, as truck drivers, we're only allowed to drive 70 hours within a week. Then after that, they tell you you need to sit your butt down and you need to do a 34-hour reset. Or you can drive off something called recaps, which we're going to get more into that in the vlog. Believe it or not, we are currently in Arizona. Now, it's almost like when we got made it to high field uh, trucking and to get our truck and uh, which if you haven't seen that brief tour or that road trip, check that out. But it's almost like when we got into our truck, we hit the ground running. Shout out to our mentors, Tim and Melissa. You know what I'm saying? They putting us on some game. Now, the situation is being out here in Arizona, I got like 32 hours remaining. Carla got like maybe 30 two hours remaining it's pretty balanced i don't know how many you got the only thing is we've been stacking loads on our plate like crazy and we still got almost three thousand miles uh sitting on top of us that we have to get through strategically and we have to make sure we don't run out of hours or we will either have to give the load up to somebody else and lose all the money that we've stacked on our uh on our plate so I don't know, we might have got ourselves in a situation, y'all. Just, let's just see what happens. What is up, you guys? Welcome to another vlog on the Nick and Carla channel. So we have just made it to uh, Columbus, Ohio, the storage area where we're preparing to move everything from the U-Haul to the big truck and oh my goodness moving is pretty hectic but um we got a nice little truck tour and um now we're just preparing to go through this process all right that wasn't too bad that's pretty much everything now i'm taking this toilet that we got we actually got it on the way up this is what we got. The Pfeffer Camp Up Potty MT. Here it is. Now, to all of my people watching from the semi truck world, it's not easy to fit one of these in a uh, standard sleeper uh, for tractor trailer. So, when we actually transitioned from tractor trailer into this world, the fact that we had these toilets to sit down in was just like a freaking blessing because if y'all knew some of the things that we had to do when we had situations where we had to use the restroom, some of y'all wouldn't be able to handle it. But as women on the road, we had to do what we had to do in our own unique way. But when you got to go, you got to go. But anyways, uh, so yeah, we're about to go in now and start figuring out where we want to put everything. I was thinking about it putting Nikki stuff up here you gonna be good with that yeah her food yeah like them little small bags and her treats mm -hmm. her leash and stuff down here so it can be like easy access okay and then um I saw putting the groceries up here I got the potatoes up here but I don't know if that's why I'm gonna keep them then I got the few plates right there and those um, mason jars right there. And I was thinking the bathroom stuff, like, um... Could it not fit under here? What? The bathroom stuff. I'm talking about lotion and stuff. Oh, the toilet oh, gonna go yeah, up yeah, under okay. There. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, the toilet gonna go up under there. So I was thinking, like, our supplements, yeah. our lotions and stuff. Because well, I think that's kind of what we kept it the last time. Okay. And this is the sink. So that's how come I was like the dishes the same. Got you, got you. That's why I did that. Got you. Okay. As we took the time to put everything in its place, it almost felt like solving a jigsaw puzzle. Solving this puzzle helped to keep our minds off of where our first load would send us and if we would deliver it successfully. On the outside, we looked confident, but on the inside, we were anxious. So making sure our new home was neat and clean was important for us to function properly.
right we are officially logged into this machine right here the qualcomm and now what we're getting ready to do is call our mentors so that they can kind of give us a briefing they can kind of just help us know what our next steps should be and uh i gotta take this u-haul back so man things are moving along man you know made it to your new home yes I yes have. that's what i'm talking about go ahead how I feel. we saw this one comment they were just saying how they don't they didn't want to take away from the fact that we are truck drivers but they said they feel like they felt like when they were driving this truck that they were getting paid to rv and i was just like i can see that <laughs> you gotta get some run some loads but you still gotta you know you still get to enjoy yourself 36 garlic's currently signing um our lease agreement whenever you do come with high field then you you commit to one year to drive with them um, so she's signing the lease agreement and punching in the numbers. How many miles on the truck? How many miles is on the truck? Um, 379, 436. So 379,000 miles is already on this truck. Um, the owner, both the owners of Highfield, they came over. Um, our old mentor, Jerry, came and we got to meet I him know. the first time. <laughs> we, Even though he was our mentor, we never got to like meet him, you know. Yeah. So that was pretty dope. We got to meet um uh, uh the owner's sister just a few the operations manager everybody was just so nice so friendly um it was just a pleasure to see them the the two owners they're getting ready to go off on a huge trip so it was great to see them before they left and, and leave for like that amount of time but um yeah hopefully once we get everything punched in we actually may be able to hang out with jer bear that's what we call him um I tell him if he keep losing weight. I said, if you keep losing weight, they ain't going to be able to call you a bear. He said, sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's just, a, you know, like a gentle giant type uh -huh. of guy. But, um, but yeah, so if we get everything taken care of, meet up with our mentors and everything, we may be able to hang out and go out to eat with them tonight. So, y'all may be able to meet them, which would be really dope. But he actually has a YouTube channel called The Expediter Boogie. He used to drive these trucks, these same trucks, but um, now he's kind of moved up into within Highfield, and he's, like, running stuff with Highfield, like the social media and stuff like that, which is pretty dope. Oh, we got to take a survey. Okay. So, we got to go in the back of the truck. So, within your team, you have to list a team leader. With Carla not only having years of management experience, she's also very thorough and does any given task the right way. We thought it would be best to give her this title, so anytime the company needs to reach us, they call her. Carla is currently counting everything the truck is equipped with, and I am assisting her by reporting the numbers. With Carla dealing with communication and truck management, this also gives me more time to focus on managing our social media and other online businesses. I mean, Carla is counting everything, even those heavy chains, which, by the way, you are not required to chain your tires during winter driving with this company. Girl, I can't even pick them up. How the hell I'm going to get them on a the tire? Carla's over there brushing her teeth. It's just... Welcome to another day, honey, on the Nick and Carla channel. We uh, actually ended up spending the night at this Sheets. You ever heard of Sheets? Well, of course we heard it in the trucking world, but I forgot that they existed. Um, because there's no parking spot at the Loves. That's like our preferred truck stop that we like to stay at. Nice showers. Plus we get free showers and... Um, like we're when you uh drive with highfield they automatically place you in the platinum status with love so you get free showers uh is it like four points per dollar or something like that so even like when you fill up the truck you're getting points so you can use those points for other things but anyways we need to talk to y'all about how our night was uh trying to sleep in this truck baby it's like we forgot it's like we have taken peace and quiet for granted <laughs> um we're actually gonna go to walmart um uh, once carla finished getting herself together and um we're going to 
get some a few things one of the things is earplugs it was so freaking loud you had the apu going which that is a generator that i mean keeps the battery good and uh turn, it runs the ac and stuff like that um you had other truckers driving these big trucks all over the parking lot um it was just a lot and both me and Carla, it just felt like we was getting molly whopped in our sleep. <laughs> it was rough. So one thing that we said we wanted to just inform the people who come out here, especially this sleeper mask, the eye mask. Yeah, who are new to this world, could really consider bringing earplugs and a uh, eye mask, so you you know can um get better rest. So that was pretty rough, but. Um, also, we actually ended up having a good time last night, though, because we linked up with Jerry, Jer Bear. He actually was our mentor when we first came to Highfield. We never got to meet him in person, but now since he's living in Columbus, we actually got to hang out with him. He took us out to eat. He took us to this China buffet. Well, we just, we, I tow up the food. You know, they was trying to eat cute. I have messed my food up. I had one big plate. You know, when you go to a buffet, people be thinking, like, you have to go and get multiple plates. But me, because I don't eat a lot, I just pile everything up on my one plate and be like, uh, this is it. Remember when I came to the table? I said, I'm going to be maxed out with this. <laughs> yes, it was really nice just seeing him, hanging out with him, and uh, having good conversations, good laughs. Thank yeah. you, Jerry, for taking care of us. How was your sleep, Nikki? I'm really not a big fan. Better than you. No, no, no. <laughs> to be honest, it's making my stomach a bit queasy. Hey, rub my belly. What's going on out here? Switch hold up. Say. Is that a ah? Is that right? So hold up. Be quiet. Really? I think I see something. Is oh, that an ah? I see an oppa? Yeah, I see an oppa in that, in that huge machine. Ooh. What is he doing? What's happening? I don't know what's Ooh. happened, but I don't like it. Is it somebody? Like it. You yeah, get it's somebody. Whoa. I might need to get a little closer. Oh, look. Okay. Get out the way. All right. Who okay. are you? Announce yourself. You don't belong here. All of y'all. Who are all these people? I just don't like it. I'm just not a fan. Get out her way. Yeah, get out she the way. Her job because your spiking ass that, don't belong Nikki here. Really and been, to be uh, honest, you too doing good i forgot how good of a guard dog she is you know whenever we're pumping fuels if i'm sleep or vice versa you always have somebody watching your back because car i mean nikki she she just take naps you know in and out taking naps but um it is nice to have the guard dog on the truck because she does watch and she does bark or sound off when she need to Pretty good, girl. I'm proud of you. I'm trying. I still don't like it though. <laughs> All right, babe. You drove the truck again. How it feel? You know, it feels, you know, like I'm getting back in the groove of things. I can't believe Carla was talking about she was so nervous to drive or get back in the truck. Yeah, she whipping this thing like she ain't never left. No, it is like I said, the unknown. Like understanding how to get stuff started mm -hmm. the whole little low board thing you know it was kind of like this morning when we was kind of like 
what do we do like yeah. we just go pick up the truck and then what's next yeah we're actually um we're still waiting to get in the system correctly so we can start running loads we've been kind of back and forth with our mentor just trying to get everything taken care of we checked our permits to make sure all that stuff is up to date so now we made it to walmart we actually have to go in there and get a few items we got to stock our fridge because we have how you open this thing honey it got the locks on it oh that's dope we got a little lock on there okay we have absolutely nothing um how you turn it on it ain't on is it it's not i mean it's cool in here but it don't feel on i wonder if it's because we just oh let's see you have to turn it up. Yeah, we got to turn it up. We're going to put it on. We're going to put it on real cold. Put it on five. Yeah. Oh, well, you can put it on real cold and go ahead and get it. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm about to be completely honest with what just happened in this Walmart. This guy here rolled up to me and he said, hey, is your husband in here with you? I looked at him up and down and I said, I ain't got no husband. He said, well, good, then that means you can help me. Now the devil on my shoulder instantly wanted to pull the battery out of his chair. But the angel on the other shoulder told me to hear him out. This guy actually needed help with finding a humongous pair of shorts that Walmart rarely had. So I decided to help him look because I thought about my grandma, my parents, and myself. We are all doing nothing but getting older, and we all will hope that the world would treat us kindly. We actually lucked up on this pair of shorts right here, the only pair that was in his size. I'm so grateful he caught me on the day where my angel could take over, and after helping him out, he actually turned out to be a pretty cool guy. And this here is us just trying to figure out a way to escape him from holding us hostage from his plethora of stories. Hey. My daughter woke up on that. She said, I'm going to take him to a place school that will take him for a full ride. Okay. Okay. So now I need to catch you all up to how we've gotten ourselves into this little pickle. Two days after being in our new truck, we got our first load. We picked up in Columbus, Ohio and dropped off in Indianapolis, Indiana. The point of taking such a small load was to prove to the company that we could handle refrigerated loads and passing this test would open us up to the bigger stuff. Afterwards, we picked up in Middleton, Wisconsin, then dropped in X time PA. After this drop, we were prepared to chill for the weekend because we get most of our weekends off, unless you are presented with an opportunity like this. There was a load that needed to be recovered and was paying a generous amount and it picked up from Sterling, Virginia, and is scheduled to drop off in Gilbert, Arizona, which is where the rest of this story picks up. Yeah, this parking lot right here is pretty tight. It's crazy. Carla, she actually said that um, this was a parking lot when she was driving tractor trailer and she was in training and her trainer was in the back. And she was like, uh, trainer, I'm getting, she said the name, but she was like, uh, trainer, all right, I'm getting ready to park. And the trainer was like, okay. <laughs> she didn't come up try to help her nothing. Can you imagine not knowing how to handle this beast? And yeah. your trainer just throwing you to the wolves. Yeah, it, it used to be like it was like after a while she kind of just took the trainer wheels off. Yeah. But yeah. I told Carla I said it made her a stronger driver because when Carla was driving tractor trailer, she was whipping. She was whipping this truck. <laughs> and uh didn't you say that a guy actually helped you though? Yeah, he um kind of because he saw my setup was kind of looking a little janky because <laughs> this was a smaller lot and the way that my trainer taught me to park I could not do that here like they teach you to go past your parking spot then you're supposed to turn cut your wheel all the way to the right and then all the way to the left this this lot ain't made up for that it's like you got to know how to go ahead and cop that truck the right way yep. to get it in I'm going to tell you now, I, I do be grateful. It's crazy. We had a comment. She asked, she was like, do you two consider yourselves truck drivers or just two people who drive trucks? And I will have to say, I told her I will have to say both, or Carla said both as well, because it's like we could drive it all. We could drive tractor trailer, manual, uh, automatics, uh, you know, whatever. We have our class ACDL. So, yeah, we're truck drivers. However, 
we choose to work smart and not hard. So if I can drive this little this this little bitty cute truck with this massive sleep, y'all see it? I got a sink, I got a stove, I got a refrigerator. You don't get all that in them little bitty sleep. And I got a babe. <laughs> you know, if I can do it like this, and even backing into my spot in this little bitty lot, like this little bitty lot, at one point in my life will have everything sweating. Yeah. You know, but I just simply saw my spot. I backed in, and it's like now I get to get ready to move on to the next thing. So I say we also just people who drive trucks because we choose to work smart and not hard, and we took the easy route. But this route also makes if not the same more money than we made driving track the trailer it just depends on how smart you run your truck which is why it's good that you get mentors but you know something else some people who don't know how to park like that they end up parking like that how he pulls straight in oh hell no nah. never do that now, i don't care what you driving yeah they say that that is the worst way to park yeah because think he still gotta back out yeah it's like you still got to go through the pain of backing. You might as well just get it out the way and back. This dude done pulled in. I ain't even noticed that. Yeah. So <laughs> but a lot of people will do that. Um, I've done it before. When I wasn't confident, like, with bagging, before I got confident with bagging, I have pulled in before. I'm going to tell you, my trainer, he never let me do that. I remember one time, the first time I tried it, he was like, uh-uh, nope, nope. Yeah. He didn't even let me do that. And then when he explained it, I was like, okay, I understand. And then I just didn't worry about it. Yeah, like Patrice told me, she said, I always try to get a pull through if you can. But she was like, you don't want to get caught up in a situation where you can't get out. He like, you don't even know what I want. No, sir. You understand what no mean. If I'm saying no, he looking like, but I ain't even said nothing. Yeah. I don't need you to say nothing. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, when it's two women in the truck, we are not as trusting. We are not as quick to open our door. So he's going to have to ask one of these big burly men who's driving these big burly trucks because, baby, I mean, we probably could take him if we needed to. Yeah, he looked a little weak. Yeah, but you he know, a little he's weak. still a man. <laughs> <laughs> he got man strength deep yeah, down. You'll have, you will have people knocking on your door because they're like, okay, they're truckers. They got money. We need, I need to see if I can get you to give me something. And I said we won't give because Carla have given to uh, people before. But it, again, it has to be out of our heart. We have to truly feel it emotionally. I, we can't have any what? Emotional resistance? Yeah. For it to make sense. That's just how we move though. gonna make it work please everyone always make sure you have your shower shoes yeah. you have these. and lots of lots of yes <laughs> y'all so we learned a very valuable lesson this go round <laughs> We need to make sure not only that we read the reviews um, before we come to the truck stop. Not saying that we wouldn't have taken a shower here, because I mean this was we needed to stop here. This was the last loves for a minute. We could have mentally prepared ourselves. Yeah, but then also with this shower being so small, we would have did separate showers. Sometimes we do separate showers. Sometimes we do them together. But when it's this small, y'all, Carla, she is just struggling trying to figure it out, honey. So uh, you still think you a truck driver? No, I said this, I said maybe I'm not, I'm not no truck drive, I'm too bougie. <laughs> but while we're on the subject, I have to let you guys know the app that we use whenever we're in these trucking streets and we're trying to figure out where we want to stop, where we want to go, is Trucker's Path. Like, they're annoying as hell because they're always updating and making changes, but at the end of the day, that app works. If you use any different apps that's similar to Trucker Path, then comment below but like trucker's path has saved our butts plenty of times 
Damn, it's raining, y'all. Got caught up in the rain. Here at this uh, truck stop, Tr uh, one nine. Never heard of it. But um, me and Nikki, we're out stretching our legs. Carla, she's in the truck. She's making dinner for us today, which we've been alternating in uh, who's been making dinner. Um, it just depends on how our schedule fall. But she's whipping up some, some she saw on TikTok called uh, burger tacos. to drive two more hours or an hour and change um, up the road because I had the time. We're just trying to figure out how to balance it out. Luckily, we have our mentor who's helping us out. They are actually um, kind of giving us some guidance on how not to hopefully run. Ooh, Nikki. Them ants big. Oh my goodness. Y'all ain't tell me y'all had ants the size of my hands out here. But essentially, uh, what our mentors told us to do is um, once we pick up the load. So first and foremost, let me tell y'all where we're at. Y'all already know that we have a load. We're here. We drop off in New Mexico. After we drop off in New Mexico, I'm trying to avoid the wind. After we drop off in New Mexico, then we are picking up in New Mexico and we're headed to LA. Then after LA, we pick up in LA, uh, somewhere else in LA, and uh, we drop off in Salt Lake City, Utah, and then we pick up Utah, and then we're headed all the way over to Delaware. Now, the reason what's so special about this moment is usually you come out here in California and these little trucks, a lot of people don't understand, this type of trucking is way different than these big trucks that's part of the reason they have those big sleepers is because there are moments where you're going to be sitting longer than what uh, people are used to sitting Nikki marking up everything and um, and when you come out west there previously when we did this truck and there was a time we came out in Colorado and we got stuck out here out in Colorado for like 11 days but we just didn't know what we were doing. We were trying to figure things out. That's why it's highly recommended before you go the owner operator route is you drive for a fleet owner. And I actually highly recommend Highfield because they have the mentor program. Not all fleet owners gonna have that. Some of them just still may throw you out to the wolves. So, you know, you drive on the high field, you get the experience, you get to learn from other experienced drivers. And um, our mentors, pretty much what they told us is to drive seven to eight hours don't go over that each shift need to be seven to eight hours until we make it to delaware and when we make it to delaware then we have to reset we have to sit down for 34 hours which is perfect because we'll be able to do laundry and stuff like that but um hopefully that strategy works and we don't run out of hours like in the middle of running these loads because it'll suck because we've already added up all the monies that we make from this and it's looking really nice i'm not gonna lie i'm excited about it so, um, anyways, I'm going to get to cleaning up the front of the truck and, you know, just refreshing the area uh, while Carla is making our burgers. All right, y'all. Carla's in here cleaning up after she made some real good burgers. Oh, my goodness. Some things were so delicious. Sorry I didn't get them on camera. I was just hungry and I'm tired. Right now, the clock doesn't fail all the way down and it's four. And um, Carla, what time you say you getting up tomorrow? Um, I believe three. So Carla's gonna get up at three to leave by four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So she's gonna get up at three, um, so she can leave by four, 
and um, we're gonna drop this load off. Now, it's something that I wanted to talk to you all about that I thought would be really fun and really dope. It was an idea I came up with the first time I came out here. And um, I didn't stick with it that long, but I think it would be dope if I could stick with it. But pretty much, I came up with a meter to give you all an idea of where we're falling at as far as our goals or the numbers. So um, the meter is going to be one through five. One, either we on home time or something has went terribly wrong. Or like we <laughs> lost some loads or something went bad. Uh, level two. It's like, okay, cool, y'all didn't hit y'all goal, but y'all did decent. Y'all gonna have a nice little decent paycheck for the week. Um, level three, that means that we have hit our goal, and congratulations. Level four, okay, now I drink some Nick and Carla, you know, you know. Y'all, we can buy some, we can buy drinks for maybe the subscribers, a few of the subscribers. And level five, oh, Nick and Carla need to buy the whole bar. Oh man, y'all showed out. Maybe uh book a uh cruise ship and invite and, and invite all the subscribers out. If we hit level five, oh man, oh man, that means we really showed our asses that week. I just did my recalculations to see like what we at for this week for this pay period, and technically, based off of our goals and all that, we've actually hit a level four. We hit a level four. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations, Carla. The, the way we got our loads stacked up, we're already set for level three automatic for the next week. So congratulations on that too. If everything go according to plan and our hours, and we uh, run our hours right. Nobody yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Level three, that's a cute number. It's a really cute number. But um, I'm tired, so it's for something. And we're I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to lay down together. We already had our showers. We already ate. Nikki's already been out exploring and all that stuff. So um, we're about to get some shut eye, and then Carla be ready to get up in the morning. This load we got to pick up tomorrow is um, I don't know. It's one of them bougie loads. It's one of them, um, and yeah, they're paying a bougie price for it. But it's one of the ones where they like, okay, make sure your hair's neat. Make sure you know your clothes are neat. And you know, it's just, you know, it's one of them. So, it, you know, we both gonna be on our P's and Q's for this one. Um, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. Even though we're excited that we hit a level four this week, it's come with the price. And now the goal is to avoid being stuck out west and to avoid needing another truck to recover our load so that we don't look irresponsible with managing our allotted weekly hours as truck drivers. Will we pass or fail? Find out next week on the Nick and Carla Vlog channel.